Hey, it's Drew Neiser with another Tuesday tip. We just had a fascinating conversation on leadership and what it means for the CMO to lead their department and perhaps their organization. So, all right, first up, Dave Borman with Associate Analytics. Dave, what is your tip for leadership? First, check for competency. Once you've understood that, then give people the runway to do what they are able to do and then give them the air cover to do it. There you go. So they they got to have some skills, but then you got to give them some leeway. All right, yeah. Carlo Cadet. Carlo, what is your tip? My tip is give people the space to blossom, fertilize often, prune when necessary. <laughs> fertilize often and prune when necessary. Okay, and the fertilizing is is about inspiration, is about training. What do we what do we fertilize when you specifically pushing that metaphor a little bit? Plant it for me. I think fertilizing has to do with teaching and giving opportunities. Great. All right. Marshall Poindexter, Open Eye Scientific. Marshall, what is your tip? So my tip is, as you're working with your team, help them come to the realization of how to think differently. So asking them questions to help them reframe their thought process, but still allowing them to come up with the the idea or the solution, not dictating them to them. Let them discover it. A little Socratic method goes a long way. Okay, Julie Kaplan from Care Medics. Julie, what's your tip? Clarity is kindness. So (laughs) define roles and responsibilities, set clear expectations, keep track of goals, and hold people accountable for the actions they will take to achieve those goals. Amazing. What a great list. I'm going to have to go back through it. Okay, Deidre Hudson. Deidre, what is your tip? Don't be afraid to say you don't know. One of my great teachers would often say, let's see what the data tells us. And I think that by saying you don't know, you open it up and allow your team to have creativity and to be able to express and and flex their muscle powers and gives them the opportunity to problem solve as well and gives them to be an opportunity to be part of the solution. So just don't be afraid to say that you don't know. You don't have to have all the answers. By the way, there are too many questions to be asked along the way. The one thing I wanted to just add to this is, is a lot of the times leaders forget to provide the reason why. And there are a lot of decisions that you have to make almost day in, day out that might be you know, 50-50. And if you can just provide your rationale and say, here's what the reason why we're doing this. And also, by the way, this is all the data we have today. We may have to revisit this in three months. All right. Anyway, great tips. If you're a B2B CMO who can share, care, and dare with the best of them, check out cmohuddles.com. I'm Drew Neiser. Peace out.